Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to monitor your WISE security cameras with a ping using a PFSense router and a Zabbix server. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to have you do is sign into your PFSense router. I want you to go over to status, go over to DHCP leases. You can see I have several WISE cams that have automatically obtained an IP address. Now in order for this to work and Zabbix to monitor successfully, our WISE cam is going to need a static IP address. Unfortunately, the WISE cam doesn't support assigning a static IP manually to the device. So what we're going to do is just have our router do it through a process called DHCP reservation. Quick background on that. How does that work? Well, when the node comes online, the PFSense router will recognize its MAC address and once we ass assign what's called a static mapping, the PFSense router is going to go, oh, I recognize your MAC address. Here, I already have an IP address reserved for that MAC address. That's the only IP address you're getting and hence we have a static IP that doesn't change for the WiseCam. Now, why do we want the WiseCam to have a static IP, an IP address that doesn't change? Well, because we have Zabbix that is going to be monitoring the IP with ping and that IP needs to remain the same because if it changes, it's not gonna dynamically change or update inside of Zabbix. Zabbix is still gonna be looking at the old IP address. Okay, enough of that. Let's, get, let's go ahead and create a static mapping. So one thing to know on your PFSense router, the static IP address you use cannot be within your IP address DHCP pool. So as you can see, I got a 10.60 through 10.245. So anything after .245 I can use, anything after .6 or anything before .60 I can use. So what I am using is, I um, already created a static mapping here. I'm using the 50s. So basically 50 through 56. You're gonna find the wise cam you wanna create a DHCP reservation for, or as PFSense calls it, a static mapping. Here's a wise cam right here. We're gonna click this plus sign. So once we click that, it automatically pulls the MAC address for that device. The IP address we want to give it, let's give it a 192.168.10.52. Host name, I, I'm going to leave this as WiseCam description. You can put whatever you please. The gateway does need to be the gateway of your router. In my case, it is 10 or 192.168.10.1. Domain name, not worried about it. The DNS server, let's go ahead and put that in as well. Usually the DNS server is your router as well, but if not, um, you're going to need to find out what your DNS server is. In my case, again, it's the same as my gateway. And then once you have all that in there, there's really no other settings you need to really worry about. Just go ahead and click save. Now I'm not going to click save because I already created a static mapping right here. And if we edit that, you can see what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, same deal, got the MAC address. Okay, great. So now, if you go back to status DHCP leases, you may have already noticed what it looks like now. There's no start, there's no end, because it's not a lease, it's a static mapping. There's a MAC address and there's the IP address. It has like a little person icon. So now I'm gonna go ahead and have you open up your Zabbix host, and we're gonna go over to host groups. We're gonna create a host group for our wise camps just so we can stick all the wise camps in there nice and neat. So pretty easy configuration host groups, create the group name you want, click add. Now we're gonna head over to configuration hosts and we are going to create another host and we're gonna call this wise cam, visible name. Um, you can put wise cam one, two, three, whichever wise cam you're setting this up on templates we're going to select icmp icmp ping groups here's the group that we created let's go ahead and click click wise cams we're going to click add on that agent and we're going to put the static ip address that we are using in the dhcp reservation 192.168.10.50 in our case and a description you can put whatever you like i'm going to click add on that as you can see, the triggers automatically load, the items automatically load because we used an ICMP ping template. Now I have already set up alerts and I've already configured my email settings on my Zabbix server. If you need help with that, go ahead and check the video in the description below. I've done a video on this already and I suggest you check that one out. Now, 
if we go over to triggers, we can see that the unavailable by ICMP ping is set to high. So any high severity events is going to send an automatic email alert to me. Now if we go over to monitoring, click on hosts, we can see our wise cam. And if we click on our host, we can go down to ping. And it's going to attempt to ping the device and we can get three packets transmitted, three received. Now, one thing I will tell you, once you create that static mapping, your WiseCam is not going to automatically pick up that static mapping. It's most likely going to have its own IP address already. In order to renew that IP address and get the correctly static mapped IP address, you need to reboot your WiseCam. Now, let's check out the data on our WiseCam. If we click on latest data, we can see that the last value is up one and we can actually graph the ICMP ping. And as you can see, we have some data over here. And our host is up. Very nice. Well, there you have it, folks. Now you can monitor your wide security cameras with a simple ping using Zabbix and be notified via email automatically should your WISE cameras go offline. If this video has helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please consider subscribing to the channel and support what we do here. I'm really trying to grow the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you out there. We've moved on to 21 subscribers. Let's keep it going strong. If you're interested in hiring us for a project, please head over to reasonableitservice.com and book a free consultation.